touchdown. Here is the give to Matthews, a big hole. Matt, first and 10 Gamecocks near midfield. Here comes the blitz. Cooper's pass is caught by Trey Berry, and he is taken down inside the two out there and make those blocks. Second and six. And I tell you, that's that's got to be a welcome sight for JSU coach. Cox changing the play or calling out their protections. Cooper's pass is caught, was thrown into double coverage. So fourth and nine. Here comes the blitz again. Cooper's passes away and caught for a first down. Trey Berry was one of Cooper throws toward the end zone. It is caught off the deflection for the touchdown by Josh Pitt. After the 10 yard mark off. Lopez goes deep and it is incomplete down and around the come the holding call. Second down, Lopez goes deep. He's got a receiver wide open, and it is incomplete. Young offensive line, four sophomore starters up front for Jacksonville State. Pocket collapses, and Cooper takes off. Boy, we saw that a lot last week. And Washington, North Alabama getting all their offensive production so far on the ground. Not a good idea trying to go east and west against this Gamecock defense as Lopez, pass is incomplete. It was intended for. This is fielded at the 20. And a good return by, really off to a good start this year. Throws it on first down to Trey Berry, who they are getting involved early in this one. Big plays, Adam, I know a couple of touchdown throws. Second down, the handoff to West. Nice hard running for the first down on his first carry of the night. Here comes the blitz, all out blitz and read perfectly. It's complete out of the backfield to Jake. Big time play there for the Gamecocks. Quick pass out to Hester, gets a good block from Bird. We talked about the blocking of it. Cooper hands off to Green. He's through the hole up the middle, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Determined running by Green. A couple of defenders had their hands on him. Wasn't going from the past. It really is, and I, I, I absolutely think it'll get there again. Little uh, weird bounce on the kickoff, and Jacksonville State is going to is going to come up with a big special teams play. That's a mistake, not catching that ball in the air. Bryant Wallace from the left hash. The kick is up, and it's right through there. Gamecocks had to settle for the, the field goal. Nice job getting around the corner that time. Cooper finds Pearson. Pearson in a foot race, and he will score. Boy, that is a way to answer. Second and 10, Lopez got it away somehow, but a Gamecocks four of seven on third down tries, passes away and a diving catch by Trey Berry. I think into it here. Lopez pressured, passes away and intercepted in the end zone. Pick second down and six. Here comes the blitz. Lopez gets the pass away, and it's caught by Bird at the 32, and he is slung down back. Lopez passes away, an incredible catch by Bird, but he's got where you punted it previously. Jack Peavy fields it at the 19, and is quickly converged. First down, and the running play goes nowhere, and that's because Lopez under pressure will heave it downfield, and it is incomplete. They're coming after Cooper, but a nice execution there on the play call, and the Gamecocks are going to Cooper back to throw on first down. Goes for Trey Berry, and he's got him at the UNA 46-yard line.
Baez hands it off again. Nothing doing. Game's tried. And there's a big play. Second one of the half by Tyree McKinney. Touchdown pass here, missed field goal. See if the Gamecocks can deliver that knockout punch on this drive. Matthews, nice hard running, and there's some. Cooper, pass is complete to Josh Pearson. Had the big first half. Cooper fakes. Slant pattern to Josh Pearson, and he's going to outrun everyone to the end zone. And just like that, the Gamecocks seize control of the game. Josh Pearson, another big touch. Lopez, 47. Lopez in some trouble, and he'll be sacked way back at the 40. Lopez throws it to Bird, and Bird running for his life, and he'll be tackled back at the. Lopez steps up, in trouble again, and going to be sacked back at the 42. Neither of these coaches want to see any more players harmed as far as injury is concerned. Green, nifty running all the way across the other side. Well, takes the snap, swings it out to Green. Green is going to have a first down up to the 29-yard line. Before uh, this, you know, good win. You know it's going to be a good game against UNA coming in. Uh, they got a good program, they always have. And this goes back to old rivalry game. You know, they're going to be ready to play. And, you know, coach has been there since, I think, 02 or 03. So he's been through, you know, two or three head coaches there and been the head coach there a while. So uh, on the move up, things doing a really good job. Uh, doing a good job recruiting, good job coaching. So good players, good coaches, and uh, this solid win for our guys. Uh, you know, could we have played better? Yeah, we could have played better. Uh, probably if we don't, after a win like last week, if we wouldn't have had a solid week of practice, I thought we did a really good job of getting our feet on the ground and, you know, practicing really well during the week. And, uh, you know, so I think that kind of showed during the game because at times we didn't play with enough, enough energy like we need to play with. And uh, we just kind of played through it, though. You know, third quarter, I think everybody about went to sleep. You know, it was just one of those games where you had the three media timeouts and then they had a – targeting review and you just couldn't get the game kind of going it kind of third quarter lasted forever you know but got off to a better start this week i thought the first drive of the game was really a solid drive and then he always had a couple drops uh it's not characteristic uh you know gave up on you know like a 90 yard drive and you know i thought once we got the ball down and down in the one, you know, we get a stop and get another score, whether it be a field goal or a touchdown, and we let them drive all the way down. And, you know, Trey Trey has to intercept the ball, keep them from scoring. So I thought that was a big turning point. And then we didn't play, uh, you know, we didn't play great on offense, I think, uh, the second half. Uh, so we got some things to correct. And moving into conference play, I think the four non conference games have done what they're supposed to do. I mean, just give us uh, some experience and, uh, you know, tough games and tough competition. So, I think we're still pretty healthy, you know, going forward. So, I mean, we're on a 10 game run. So, that's one of the keys, I think, is staying healthy. Uh, but we'll have a tough road, road game next week with Austin P. Don't know. I mean, he's getting some x rays tonight. I mean, it's kind of, he got landed, the tackle kind of landed on his leg. I mean, he's involved in tackle. It's kind of weird how he feels. So, I think it's more of an ankle than anything. So, we're just getting it, you know, x ray, just check it out and see and, uh, you know, see how he is. But that's the only thing I think serious we have. I think he's okay. His is an ankle, too. But I think he is, I think he could have came back in the game. But the other guys were playing pretty good. It was. It was good. I mean, I think people went in the game trying – they know where Josh is. You know, they're, they're trying to bracket him some and take him away. And uh, you got to take advantage when you get him matched up one-on-one. -on -one. And it, it's a little harder to do that when Jamari's playing so well. And, you know, you got Trey Barrett's playing well. So, uh, we're able to spread the ball around with those receivers, and that, that makes it good. They did. I mean, we're giving up too many explosive plays. I mean, that's been a that's been an issue all the first four games. I mean, we've got to get to where we don't give up as many explosive plays. 
you know, whether it be on run, night we gave up some through the air, you know. And at times we had guys in position, you know, and we just uh, didn't make a play. And then sometimes we were beating us on the end cut. And, you know, we're trying to get our nickel guy inside it, and we just didn't do a good job of leverage in the ball, I think, you know. So we got to get better uh, and, and continue to grow there, I think. Well, I thought we handled it well. I mean, like I said, I think the week of practice play, paid off. If I, th I think if we went out there and practiced like we were hung over from the win Saturday, we'd have got beat tonight because UNA is good enough to beat you, you know. And uh, like I said, it's it's one of those things where you, you can't get yourself caught. If I had to answer how to, how to, how to not play like that, it'd be, it'd be a good deal. But I, I don't think we played like that. I mean, I think we played, we came out and started the game with really good energy. You know, we got off to a good start, and I, mean, I think it's a tribute to UNA. I mean, they, they came in here, and they were ready to play, and they battled, and you know they weren't going to go away, and they made some plays. Well, quarterback's a good player. You know, he got some good old receivers. The running back's really good. They were better up front than what I thought they was going to be. You know, you got in person, and they, they're they big. They're a long team, and I think they, they, you know, they, they going to win some games down the line. I think so. I think the four games has really helped us. I think we've grown. Uh, we continue to grow up all the impression we're playing up front. You know, you look at their ties, still got three or four out there on the D line, and, you know, they're getting better. Every snap they get, they're getting better. So, I mean, hopefully they'll continue to grow and, like I said, stay healthy down the line. And, you know, we got a tough road trip. I mean, at Austin P will be ready to play, you know, and I think they're kind of a different team at home. I think they got beat on the road tonight at East Tennessee. And this game, I think they, they probably thought they was going to win going in, but they, you know, had Central Arc at home, which is a top 15 team. and. You know, they, they had chances to beat them in the fourth quarter late. You know, uh, so it, they'll, they'll be a different team up there. So we'll have to get ready to play on the road. And one shot on the road we've had this year with this team, we didn't do very well. <laughs> so so uh, hopefully we'll play better, you know, on the road. Hey, we kicked the field goal. Hallelujah. Yes, John, I'm glad you brought that up. I should have said that in the opener. Yes, we, we attempted. We are... We are, what would you call it, a thousand percent on that, right? We're, th we're one for one on field goals. But no, nah, Wallace, you know, he's from that area. He's from that Florence area. It meant something to him to play well tonight. And uh, I thought he kicked the ball off really well, you know, and uh, gave him some problems with our sky kick stuff. And then uh, he makes a field goal. So uh, excited for him. So he got an opportunity to where, you know, he's in a position to make one. Now, I was wanting a touchdown out of that when we, we recovered the, the kickoff that they fumbled and bounced around. And you'd like to get a touchdown out of that. But we did a good job putting it through the uprights and making the field goal. He likes Stinger, yeah. He's, he had a little problem with it last week, but uh, he kind of played through it. And he, it's, I, I think he'll be okay. We'll have to get evaluated this week and kind of see. But he came back in and made, and made some plays, you know, with it. So. Yeah, he did. I mean, he's going to be a good player for us. You know, he bumped right on up the ladder and you know, the game he had last week, he deserved to start. Had a good week of practice. So it's, it's good. he's doing some good good things, you know. And play, the good thing, we're playing a lot of guys up there right now. So we're able to stay fresh through, you know, uh, through the game with the inside guys and the defensive ends. So I think rotation there is pretty good. And those guys are, you know, battling for reps. And when you got good competition, that makes you better, you know, during the week. And then, you know, you can, uh, none of them's taking too many snaps. You know, I want the inside guys, my trace probably took a few too many snaps last week. And uh, he didn't have to take quite as many this week because those young guys are coming on, you know. Thank <laughs> you.